Well g'day guys and welcome back to the channel. It's a beautiful day here in Australia but unfortunately we're still in lockdown and we can't go anywhere. Now one of my very good friends who lives across the ditch in New Zealand, a guy called Rami, was wondering what sort of tent I use on my motorcycle adventures. So I thought you know what rather than sit around doing nothing let's dust off the camping equipment, ride down the block, set everything up and give you a show and tell. If you're interested in that, then stay tuned. Okay, let's start with the tent. I use a Van Gogh 300 Plus. It's a three-man tent that's designed for alpine regions. I'm talking about European alpine regions, so it can handle anything that Australia wants to throw at it. We'll unpack this baby and put it up. Okay, as you can see, the tent packs up pretty small. It's less than 400 millimeters long and about 180 in diameter. Overall weight, including the poles, is about 2.6 kilos, which is pretty good for a, a three birth tent. Okay, let's start putting this up. So as you can see it only takes two or three minutes to put up. One of the problems with the tent is you definitely need to have it pegged down, it won't stand up by itself and that is a con to be honest. Uh, you might have picked up on the axe, so I'm not an axe murderer, I just find that this is useful to have instead of a, a, a tent peg hammer and you can go and cut some kindling as well. Plus if there's anyone dodgy kicking around at night you feel a bit safer. So as you can see it's quite a big porch area. I'm a touch over 6 foot or 185 in new money um, and there's plenty of room for me to sit up here. I usually store all my panniers and my wet gear in here and I do cooking in here as well if it's raining. Most importantly I make my morning coffee here as well without even venturing outside. Next we'll take a look at the sleeping area. So a great feature with this tent as you just saw you can unzip the door with one hand and it just doesn't snag and then there's a little pocket at the side that you drop it into. Perfect. Okay so the next thing we'll look at is the FE Active Stretcher or Camp Cot as they call them out in the USA. It takes about a minute to put up. So that's the FE Active Stretcher Camp Cot. Now this is about $100 on Amazon uh, versus $450 Australian for a Helinox so a massive difference. Now you could sleep on that if you wanted to, I'm around about 100 kilos and I find it pretty comfortable. But I actually add on top of that a sea to summit camp 
SI mat. It's a self-inflating mat. All you do is undo the valve there and it'll just draw air in. And you can top it up with a, a couple of blows in there as well. On top of that, I also have a Sea to Summit inflatable pillow. Um, so I'll show you that in a second. So this is the Sea to Summit pillow and you can see just how small that is. And it will actually squash down a little bit further. It's a similar valve as the mattress. You can just pull the valve stopper out and blow it up. Just put as much air in as you want to. And then using the Velcro, that stops it moving around on the mat. The next thing I'll show you is my sleeping bag. So this is my sleeping bag. This is the Capsule 700 from Denali. It's a minus 15 degree rated feather down bag and it's a really good quality bag. It wasn't cheap, it was around about $250 Australian. But what price do you put on a good night's sleep? On really cold nights, I add to that a bag liner from Sea to Summit. On warm nights, you can actually unzip the bag all the way down and just use it as a cover. Anyway, that's my tent and all my sleeping gear. In episode two, I'm going to make a video about my camping stove and the food that I take away with me. If you're interested in that, then don't forget to subscribe and hit that little bell and you'll get a notification when I post up the video. I hope you found this really useful and thanks for dropping by. So don't forget, ride safe and have a great day.